Good morning, everybody. It's time for Morning Manna. Thank God it is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you. And uh, ready for the Morning Manna. Want to give Facebook Live a couple of seconds to get our live audience together, and then we're going to jump right into this morning's manna. Hoping you're having a great day. Going to give you some manna to live by. Share the manna. Don't keep it to yourself. It's the text, the talk, and the takeaway. We're going to jump right into this morning's manna. Make sure that you share it. Make sure that you give the hearts and the likes. And of course, make sure you give your comments so that others can get the revelation that you get. This morning, let's deal with this whole a penny for your thoughts. A penny for your thoughts. Here it is. Here's the text. Philippians 4 and 8. Whatsoever things are pure, good, holy, lovely, noble, praiseworthy, excellent, think on these things. Think on these things. A penny for your thought. What, what is the word? Here's the context of what is going on here. Paul is in prison. He is chained at ankle and wrist to the guards. And notice what he says that will help you through the situation. Your thought life. Your thought life. You would think that he would be thinking about what he was in. But he said, think on these things. You know, whenever the enemy comes, he takes hold of your thought life. He challenges your mind, goes into your mind, and that's where he wants to take rest and reign. Because if he can get your thought life, you will never exceed your thinking. Here's the talk. Here's the first thing that I need you to get. The first thing is, yesterday's thinking costs too much and pays too little. Yesterday's thinking costs too much and it pays too little. Woulda, coulda, shoulda will never happen. And the more you give thought to what you sh could have done, should have done yesterday, it's not gonna pay too many dividends. So you gotta move to the second thing. Today, think about what God is going to do tomorrow. Today, you think about what God is going to do in your life concerning that problem that is so preoccupied your mind and causing you to worry whether this thing is going to turn around or not. Today, you think about what God is going to do tomorrow. Here's the third thing that I need you to get. Transform your thinking by the renewing of your mind with the promises and the word of God. Romans 12 and 1. Transform your thinking by the renewing of your mind by putting your thoughts on the promises and the word of God. The enemy always attacks your mind when you're going through. He goes to your mind first. I don't care whether it's cancer, but it comes to your mind. I'm not going to make it. I don't care if it's a bill. It goes to your mind. I don't have the money. I don't care if it's a relationship. It goes to your mind. What am I doing in this relationship? A penny for your thoughts. Here's your takeaway this morning. Your takeaway is this. Your thoughts cost more than a penny. They're the price of your future. Your thoughts cost more than a penny. They're the price of your future. So you got to get your thinking together so the Lord can use you for all that he's going to do through you. The Lord be with you today on this Tuesday. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. Share the manna. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning with more morning manna. God bless you. Bye now.